completely prepared for anything and everything that J.R. and his attorney could throw at us during the custody trial. Yeah, got that right. I've been sitting in on Greenlee's trial, and it is hard to take. I mean, just lives are laid open. Personal matters, private things, used as ammunition. It's yeah, crazy. Greenlee's fighting for a life. I'm fighting for my son. As much as I hate it, it gets ugly. You know, is, is this what you really want? Of course not. You think I want to go to war with the man who was my husband? Who I nursed through cancer, who I thought I'd spend the rest of my life with? No. I know you don't. <laughs> I dream about Paige. Did I ever tell you that? I, 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 I never met her. I never heard her voice. And yet there she is. Maybe it's a twin thing. Yeah, maybe it is. She has this light, this warm energy. Yeah, that was me. AJ has it too. But he could lose it. He could lose that light with all the fighting and the anger. So in other words, he, he could lose babe. I can't let that happen. I know that JR loves AJ, but Adam loved JR too. Yeah. And Dixie was alive. I mean, he had his mother. It's so like you and I are, are the keepers of that light. Yes, we are. Hey, hi. Are you getting all ready for Halloween? Yeah. Yeah. So you got your costume, uh, you got your bag for the candy. Oh, good, 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 good. What are you missing? Daddy. With you on my side. I want to trick or treat with Daddy. We always go together. Uh, hey, handsome. Looks like you're all ready for your big night, huh? Something I said? I'll be right back. No, no, no. no. Give, give him some time. Give him some time. AJ wants to go trick or treating with his daddy. Really? Oh, that's interesting. You know, I just came from the mansion and JR's got the same look on his face that AJ does. If you're going to tell me that I'm wrong to keep AJ from JR, I... All I'm telling you is that JR desperately misses his son. That house is not suitable I for know. a kid. It's a disaster, okay? It's a train wreck waiting to happen. I understand you're preaching to the choir. But if it means anything to you, Annie's gone. She's moved out. So from now on, it's just JR and Colby. That is an improvement. And, and AJ does love his aunt. Are you guys working together to get me to drop the custody case? Honey, I am on your side. Listen, if you want to pursue custody, it's your choice, it's your privilege. But darling, do you really have to work so hard to keep them apart, to keep him from his father, to deny them any chance of spending time together? The judge supported this. But what about AJ? What about what he wants? He's hurt and he's homesick. Would it really be so terrible to let him spend a couple of hours with his father? They've been trick-or-treating together ever since he had to be helped, carried from door to door to do it. They do it every year. It's their dish. Yeah, but if I hand AJ over, Jeremy, never hand me back. Well, then why not go with him? Huh? There's an idea. What do you say, pal? What about you all go over and show your father your outfit, huh? The Val Coyote. Please, mommy, please. Stuff in the office, okay? We'll go home and try on your whole costume. Okay. What happened? Did you see JR? Oh, yeah, I saw him. All right, on top of Annie. Thank God I shut the door before AJ saw anything. I don't understand. I mean, Annie's gone. She moved out. <sighs> JR told me himself. Yeah, I guess he forgot to mention that she's staying at his beach cottage. I am so done with JR and his lies. The next time he sees me, it will be in court. What the hell is wrong with JR? Is he even capable of telling the truth? Well, you know, we don't know the bitch. We don't know all the details. We don't know what happened. What do you mean you don't know the details? What more do you need to know? He can't be trusted. He does not deserve his son. 